Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on use of the XTile function in Stata. Now in order to demonstrate that let's pull up a data set and we'll use census 13 invoking it with a web use command if you're online and let's start by creating a quartile and now you're going to see what XTile basically means here. XTile is just a way of dividing the distribution into equal portions and so quartile is the most common way of, uh, of doing that so let's enter this command here. NQ tells us the number of quartiles. And this variable here, MR grade or marriage rate, is the variable from which we are creating this new quartile variable. And I think that this is a pretty good naming convention here. You could call this variable uh, anything you wanted, but it's, it's just a means of you know keeping track that that's a quartile. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and use the tab stat command for uh, marriage rate. And I'm gonna I'm gonna sort that by marriage rate underscore four, which is the new variable that's just being created. And here in the parentheses for stats, I've just put in median, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, mean, and n, just to show you what comes up. So here, for example, we have our quartiles one, two, three, and four. We have the mean within each quartile, the number, and so forth. And so now we've generated this table. The most interesting aspect of which is probably uh, how this fourth quartile is very very much higher and if if you compare uh, the mean here uh, to the median you'll see classically that this is an indication of an outlier because the median is not affected quite as much by outliers as the mean is therefore the distance between three and four in mean most likely represents the influence of an outlier and I can speak with uh, with knowledge of this data set when I say the outlier is actually Nevada, which has an extremely high uh, marriage rate, which kind of throws off the mean, but is not doesn't have as much of a distorting effect on the median. Anyway, I want to do a couple more of these just to show you that you can control the X-tiles any way that you want. Here I'm making quintiles using five, and I've changed the naming of my variable to reflect that. And in this code down here, I've gone ahead and created a statistics table also to show you what the quintiles look like. So having generated the quintiles we can you know check again the means within each one the min max and so forth and this is completely within your power so you could go up to even a, like a decile if you wanted as I've done here and now you have you know 10 you know 10 equal groups over here so that's um, I think it's it's a wonderful way of being able to get insight into distributions and if for some theoretical reason you're interested in uh, an X tile that isn't, you know, a quartile that's that's kind of more custom defined, this is a great way of being able to do that in Stata. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com, we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.